guys, Leanne here on Grady's Mom. Good morning. You should be watching this on Saturday if I can get it up um, edited and stuff before, which I'm 99.9% .9 sure I'll be able to. So I just got home from Walmart. I also went to a store called Ollie's Bargain Outlet. I think that's what it's called. Um, I go there every once in a while and I did pick up some things from there this same day. So I thought I would just throw those things which are hiding behind there. Um, into this haul. Also, I wanted to show you guys my new dishwasher because I think I had mentioned in last week's grocery haul that our other dishwasher um, broke. So we did get our new one. Let me back up. And here is what it looks like. I'm not sure if it's going to show up true on camera, but it literally matches the cabinets really, really well. Let me back up a little bit more. So it, my, my, um, my idea was to try to have it look pretty seamless um, with the cabinets. And I know there's lots of different shades of white, um, but I think it's showing up a little bit brighter on camera, but it really does look nice on this long wall. We have a galley style kitchen. Um, so this is a 16 foot wall and there's no competing appliances on this wall. So I just think it works. I'm really happy with it. Um, I really, really, really just think it's sharp looking nice and we've already used it twice so it works really well um, anyways i'm going to share everything i got from walmart first and then i'll show the stuff i got from um, ollie's at the end real quick too i wanted to mention this product i did not buy this today i got this last week at target uh, my husband's son and i just had to run to target for a few things and i grabbed this because i had been doing dishes by hand for a couple weeks um, this really came in handy for pots and really stubborn things like tray, you know, baking trays and stuff. Um, and I really like this. It's like a spray um, solution. So it sprays out and then, you know, you can let it soak and then your pots and things that are caked on just get clean really easily and nicely. Um, and it definitely came in handy. Anyways, from Walmart, I purchased these um, Purdue these are the freshly prepared chicken nuggets, so they're not the frozen ones. These are in like the case that's refrigerated. Um, my son will eat these every once in a while, and lately he has been asking for chicken nuggets. Um, he's very fussy with, with the actual meals that he will eat, so when he does mention something that he wants, I definitely run out and get it. So I just bake these for him, and he'll dip them in ketchup. Um, and they're good too, like just for, you know, a quick lunch or something on the weekend. So I got those. I got a big pack of these Beef Little Smokies. I got these last week or the week before for football. And I did get the big pack for Super Bowl. Obviously this year with the pandemic, we can't have people over like we normally do. So I think I will cut the package in half, make half for Super Bowl and save half for a different day. I just throw them in a crock pot with barbecue sauce and grape jelly. Super easy um, and a really good little appetizer. They had some um, random like bubbles and different bubble makers and machines in the Valentine's Day section. So I did get a bottle um, for Grady. It was only like 97 cents. It's a decent sized bottle, but he likes the triple wands like this with the really big wands. Um, and although it's way too cold to um, be outside blowing bubbles, I thought it would be nice just to have it ready for the spring. I also had to get his Valentine's Day um, cards for school because they have to be submitted next week. They the school wants them in early, probably something to do with the pandemic. But I got those, so my son, and, uh, you know, Grady will fill them out this weekend. I got another of our Minute Maid um, pink lemonade, zero sugar. I get like one of these bottles a week. They're really tasty. Um, these are really delicious. They're the popsicle fruit twister pop. It's made with real fruit and milk, and they're just really tasty. Um, they're very hearty, so one will definitely satisfy if you have like a cold, sweet kind of ice cream, um, you know, craving. They're 70 calories per pop, and they're good. I like them. Grady likes them. I got some Texas Toast 5 cheese just to have in the freezer if I do like baked ziti or spaghetti and meatballs or something Italian. I just have something quick just to make as a side if I don't have like fresh Italian bread. Um, I got some Cabot. Vermont seriously sharp cheddar. We were really close to the Vermont border, so um, they have tons and tons of Cabot stuff here, and it's pretty reasonable. It was like two dollars for that brick. 
I got another bag of my favorite rice, which is the Basmati. I just get the Great Value brand. I usually buy these two pound bags and they'll last us a while because just my husband and I eat it. Um, I have a tiny bit left in my current bag, but I needed a backup for sure. I got the Colby Jack and turkey sticks again for Matt. He likes to eat these on lunch or a snack. The Great Value Southern Style O'Brien Hash Browns with onions and peppers. Obviously, they're good just as is, fried up in a frying pan. Um, and I also like to make breakfast skillets with these, which you guys have seen if you've watched my dinner videos. I'll just fry these up. I'll add some scrambled egg, and sometimes I'll add additional things. Sometimes I'll add bacon or sausage, ham, cheese. They're just really good as like a base to create other things. I just grabbed a handful of these Fancy Feast little cat foods for my cat. Still, they, they still don't have the Temptations ones that she normally takes, but that'll hold us over for the next week. I got a larger size uh, container of half and half. Um, I want to make some cornbread. I can make some mac and cheese. I also got some tomato soup, so I just needed this for different things. I got a bag of the Smart Food White Cheddar Popcorn. This is one of my all-time favorite like popcorn chip kind of snacks. For years and years. I absolutely love it. I've tried other knockoff dupes of this. This one I just think is just the tastiest. Um, I got some on the vine tomatoes for salads, sandwiches, grilled cheese, some bananas for Grady. Again the tomato soup which I'll just mix with half and half in water because it's too heavy and thick with just half and half. Um, so I usually do the, the soup with a can of you know normally milk but I'll just do half half a can of this mixed with water because we're going to do like a grilled cheese and tomato soup one night. Um, vanilla, just original, um, made with whole milk, uh, vanilla pudding for Grady. His yogurt sticks that he likes. He actually likes the Great Value ones better than the Gogurt ones or the Stonyfield ones. These are $1.60 and they're really good. He really likes them. I got a five, I think, five or seven pound bag of potatoes because I just used the rest of my potatoes because um, I made a big batch of broccoli cheese stuffed twice baked potatoes and I did freeze some so I'm all out of potatoes got a couple mac and cheese spirals um, some great value brand roasted salted almonds my husband and I eat a lot of almonds I got a zucchini I got a bag of these um, wild wonder I think these are like the twister peppers um, they're really tasty. They're not spicy. They're sweet. So they come with red, yellow, and I like this, this like purple. It's like a maroonish color. Anyways, they're really tasty. They're good to roast, pan fry, stir fry. They're absolutely delicious. I did get one of these last week and they are so, so good. However, yes, they're low carb. They are not low fat. They are actually very, there's a lot of fat in these, and I just realized it when I got home. There are 30 grams of fat in this, which is, to me, it's just crazy because, you know, you think cauliflower, and you think, I don't know, maybe it's just my brain, but anyways, I did get one last week. I had it for lunch one day earlier in this week. It was absolutely delicious, so I decided to get a couple more. They're not cheap. They're like three sixty dollars at Walmart which I'm guessing compared to other stores is on the cheaper side. Um, but it's Italian sausage, pepperoni, cauliflower, mozzarella cheese, and tomato pizza sauce, which obviously you can see a lot of the fat comes from the cheese and the meat. Um, but I will say it is mainly cauliflower. There's really not a lot of meat and cheese on it, um, but they're delicious. But I did just notice today when I got home the high fat content. So I got a couple of those, which I'll probably just have maybe like one a week. Um, I got some Pringle individual snack cups. Um, my son likes to take these for school sometimes, and I like them too because they're really good portion control because you can't eat, you know, the whole tube of Pringles like, you know, everybody knows. It's pretty easy to do if you like Pringles. Great value sausage, egg and cheese croissants. I get these for my husband, I don't know, every couple weeks, sometimes every week. There's only four in a box, but he really likes them in the morning with coffee. I got a pound and a half of crisp green grapes. My son likes these. I love, the, I love grapes. Um, let me just go through a lot of them. Um, I got some 
just great value uh, drinking water and then some Bud Light orange beer for my husband. I think that's everything from Walmart. And I'm gonna share just quickly, let me put this light on, the items I grabbed from Ollie's. I only went to Ollie's because um, A, I had a coupon. They send me um, coupons every once in a while and it was 15% off your entire purchase. And I get my, um, I get my Airwick essential oils there. So honestly, I went just to get these because they are extremely a great deal there. And then I ended up getting a few other things. So if you use these and you have an Ollie's near you, I would highly recommend getting these there because these at Walmart are about $5 for one. They are the Airwick Essential Mist um, like fragrance oil diffuser. Let me show you what the actual diffuser looks like. All right, so here is what the actual unit looks like. Um, this part comes off and you put the oil diffuser in and then you can adjust the settings. It runs on batteries, like a um, some AAA batteries, or AA, sorry. Um, and then one of those um, little pods, you know, oil pods goes right in here and you can just interchange them. All right, so normally, like I said, these are $5 at places like Walmart or Target. So I get them in Ollie's because they are only $1.99, which is, I just think, a great deal. So I got the sweet fruit and nutmeg, which is a nice scent. I've had it before. I got the wild mint, which is nice as well. And then I got this one, which is like a woodsy pine scent. And for $1.99, you just can't beat it. These last me, I don't know, maybe about three months each. So I'm set for a while. And again, they were $1.99 with a 15% off as well. And then while I was at Ollie's, I just looked around because I was there. Um, I did get some dried chives. I don't think I've had dried chives in years. So I just got this bottle of dried chives. Um, they were in 90 seven cents plus again 15 percent off i also saw these portion cups with lids they're good just for condiments obviously it gives you examples of what you can use it for here um but they are really nice for condiments you know dressings things like that they're 50 cups and 50 lids and they were 2.99 and of course the 15 percent off I also got these Nutrigrain Raspberry Bars. My son likes the raspberry, the strawberry, and the apple every once in a while. They were $1.99. These, I think, at Walmart are like $2.60 or $2.79. So even, you know, even at Walmart is pretty cheap compared to like, um, you know, maybe a smaller chain grocery store. So I thought $1.99 was a great deal. I was sure to check the expiration, and these are good till March, and they'll obviously be gone before then. So I did get those. I also found these Skittles um, with the yogurt dip. It's like a vanilla yogurt dipped Skittle. I love these. I can't always find them. Um, they were $1.29 for this bag, so I thought that was a nice little treat. I also grabbed this non-contact door opener and button pusher. I didn't even notice the button pusher thing. But uh, you can use this to open doors in public places. Apparently you can use it to check out on like touch screens and stuff. It was only $1.99. I never thought I'd ever be in the market to buy something like this, but I just thought it was a cool little thing to have, you know, during the pandemic because um, one place I go literally every day is the post office. And that's obviously a high traffic public place so I'm always you know using my sleeve or using like you know a tissue or something so this is just something easy I can use to open doors um, because I, again I'm in the post office literally every day shipping packages for my reselling business so I just thought it was a handy little thing to have for $1.99 and then lastly at Ollie's I got this taste of home slow cooker hardcover book and it's nice it has like really nice pictures um, descriptions. There's like pictures of every recipe with really nice, you know, details and all the ingredients. And this was $2.99. It says the original price was $17.99, like the sticker price. So $2.99. I just thought it was a good deal. I'm always looking for new like recipes in general, slow cooker recipes. So I'm definitely going to be trying out some things from this book. So that's everything I got today. I'm going to share now my meal plan for the upcoming week. All right, meal plan for the upcoming week. Just going to run through it quickly. Um, one night I'm going to do some chicken marsala over some egg noodles, and I'll probably do like peas or something on the side. I have like a jarred specialty chicken marsala or marsala sauce, so I want to use that up with some chicken breast. Um, for no meat night, we're going to do grilled cheese and tomato with tomato soup. 
I might even do, do just grilled cheese without the tomato. Um, but I like this combo to dip in the soup. One night is going to be chili and cornbread. I serve my chili over pasta. I just make a five ingredient chili. I have a whole video on it in my cooking playlist and I'll link it down below as well. My freebie night, which can also be leftovers because this chili makes a good amount. I'm going to make sheet pan shrimp fajitas with rice and beans. Um, I just use the McCormick fajita seasoning mix. I'll toss it with some shrimp and I'll cut up some peppers and onions and I just bake it right in a sheet pan and um, you can use tortillas if you want. We just eat it as is with the peppers, onions, and the shrimp, and then rice and beans on the side. I've got a pound of ground turkey to use up, so I'll just make some turkey tacos, but make taco salad. So all the elements of tacos, but on top of a bed of lettuce with veggies. And then Super Bowl is next Sunday. Um, so I'm gonna do, again, some of those little smoky sausages with the barbecue sauce and grape jelly, potato skins, some queso dip in my mini crock pot, and then I'll just cut up some veggies, hummus, cheese, crackers, pepperoni, uh, that kind of thing. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this week's haul. Have a great weekend. Please be safe out there, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys. Bye.